He's, he's uh, back. That's me. He's back. I'm back and, again. Oh and we do have a very special guest who, for some reason, decided to come back and talk to us idiots again. Marjay Sahaba, how are you going, mate? Welcome, welcome. It's great to be back. And uh, stop calling me a special guest. I mean, there's, <laughs> there, there's nothing fucking special about I'm me. Here I'm here good. I, I didn't I'm, say I'm special just... was a good thing. <laughs> I, I, I'm just here because uh, I'm, a, I'm a media whore and any extra publicity I can get, I'm willing to take, even though it's on a podcast that I don't know how many people listen to. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're quite, big in, uh, quite big in some of the South African countries. <laughs> how many people listen to On98 every week? 100,000. Well, that's about the same. Mm. Really? Believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, it, how, that's how stupid the world is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Dan died. Sad. Yeah. Sad. But <laughs> he did. Um, allergic reaction from having sex with a German shepherd. Ah, it's never a good thing. No, no, no. Not no. advised. No, no. German shepherd will always get you. They will. Won't they? The filthiest breed. <laughs> I told him. I told him. <laughs> You need two things: condoms, tell fast. And he's like, "No, no, no, nah, she'll be right, mate." There you go. <laughs> well, more Look. fool you, Dan. More fool you. Yep, yep. That's I right. do. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like Marjay's kind of stolen my thunder here because I I've not been on here for for a while as well. And oh, it's shut just up, like, Nick. Oh, Nick's <laughs> Nick's back. Oh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Special yeah. guest, Marjay. <laughs> yeah, you, mate. None taken. You're not the voice of a generation, are you, mate? This is true. <laughs> <laughs> I do get 15-year-olds that ring me occasionally and they go, oh, because I've been You're on air now Nick, for, like, for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah not, for, not for the reasons that Nick gets the calls. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're like, oh, I've been listening to you. Since, and they're like now 35 and 36 and they've got yeah, kids. So yeah. literally a couple of generations, which makes me feel like I, I can't be fucking back announcing Taylor Swift songs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like every safe time you do it, you've been, you've been dies inside a little bit. Safe to say you've been pumping Pony by Genuine for the last uh, 24 years. I have played this song on a number of occasions, a can number of occasions. Is, can you tell me, is there a radio-friendly version of Pony by Genuine that you have to play? Or can you play the original and get away with the fact that no one knows what's going on? We play the original. This yeah. is what spins me out. This what is what blowout. spins me out about a lot of music. Like the, the the music that we play, a lot of it. If people actually took the time to listen to the lyrics, yeah. they realise that there's a lot of you know, fucking and sodomy going on. But nobody, <laughs> oh, yeah. nobody, nobody, except when they hear the word shit or fuck, then they'll ring the radio station and complain. <laughs> it's like I remember being in the states and watching. I was like on the plane over to the states. I was watching Band of Brothers, which is about World War Two, mm. bloodshed, everything. But you can't say damn. You can yeah, show, a, it's you can show fucking, an arm getting shut off. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can't say damn. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Yeah. Yeah, and, and you're right, Marjay. Like, if you think that nearly every single song is either about trying to fuck, actually fucking, or what, <laughs> you've, done a, or what you've done after fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when that's no pretty... fucking me. Well, whenever I play Watermelon Sugar, when, when that song first came out, <laughs> yeah. I always made a point after back announcing the song and trying to get motivate people to, to look up the actual meaning of the song. Yeah. <laughs> so they'd really know what the song was fucking Google it, was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, let's well, get into the song about sex with horses. Let's. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Bestiality. That's what I front to you for. All right. The first verse. I'm, a, I'm just a bachelor. I'm looking for a partner. Someone who knows how to ride without ever falling off. Gotta be compatible. Take me to my limits. Girl, when I break you off, I promise that you won't want to get off. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sounds counterproductive. Um, well, he, he, it's very um, casual. He is just looking for a partner. He's single. He's out there ready to mingle. And um, you better ride that dick. Hey, hey, Nick. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yes. Nick, you're a man who has a lot of sex. I try. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you ever fallen off? Uh, I haven't fallen off. Someone's fallen off me. Did it hurt? <laughs> it hurt me. 
<laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't I've heard stories of it breaking. You can break it. You, yeah, can. you can break it. I've not break broken fully, but <clears throat> come damn that's close. Great. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I cannot continue. Why are you okay. assuming? Why are you assuming that Nick has a lot of sex? Yeah, oh, Bevo. I don't assume. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we have our chats. I assume nothing. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, first hand no. accounts. I'm full of shit. Maybe, I've maybe never had Nick. Sex. Maybe Nick needs to go buy himself a saddle. Oh, hey, I wouldn't mind saddling up. There you go. Here we Get go. Stirrups on. <laughs> Stirrups and spurs. the spurs. Spurs. Fucking yeah. yeah. dig in. Yeah. Strap-ons. You might as well just take it to the next level. Yeah, now. that's right. Well, we're already here. You may as well just dress up. It, it, Dressage. It's that progression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All things lead to a dildo up your ass. That's basically <laughs> what it is. That's, that's, that's where you are. That's my okay. motto. <laughs> that's your motto. Uh, uh, the core. Hey, Marge brought it up. It wasn't me. The core. Uh... <laughs> If you're horny, let's do it. Ride it, my pony. My saddle's waiting. Come and jump on it. If you're horny, let's do it. Ride it, my pony. My saddle's waiting. Come and jump on it. Uh, he's really beating around the bush here, isn't he? Like, you know, he's not going to be. Let's be direct, genuine. If you're going to um try and get your point across, I, I can't figure be- out what he wants. It's a bit egotistical of him to be, uh, you know, um, comparing himself to to a pony. Is it because of the pony schlong, or is it? Well, you think about like a pony is like a miniature version of a horse, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not doing yourself any favors. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm hung like a horse. He's like, well, well, I'm not exactly hung like a horse. It's more of a uh, <laughs> no, not a donkey, no. Uh, like a, like a pony, I'm hung like a yeah. pony. Mm. It's like Shetland pony. pony, Shetland pony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice and fluffy, fluffy, yeah. easy miniature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, if if you're gonna write a song about how good you are in bed, why pony? They could have gone with so <laughs> many other animals in this situation that could have plenty worked. of animals you can ride as well. Walrus. Mm, <laughs> Walrus. That's my first, yeah, good, yeah, good first option. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Ride it, my walrus. <laughs> my tusk. <laughs> yeah. Out of all the animals in the world, I, I wouldn't want to be compared to the to the walrus. <laughs> <laughs> Just a big load of fucking blubber. Well, what about yeah. in that same, I, I in think that I, same I might animal have been compared to a walrus. <laughs> let's go, if you're horny, let's ride it, my narwhal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they got a horn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. Something else bizarre, like my Greenland shark, or something oh, like that, would be no good. lion, lion, elephant. Just like you ride an elephant. You could no. ride an elephant, hundred percent. Yeah, you could. Marjay's uh, on like the sexy train. He's thinking like lion, lion is a sex- lion is the sexier animal than an elephant, hundred <laughs> percent, or a pony. Yeah. <laughs> or a pony. I've never I, look. I've never gone to a petting zoo or something with my kids and gone like. Fuck, that pony is uh, one majestic beast. <laughs> we um, <laughs> we once adjusted uh, some horses and there was a pony and it bit you me. You jizzed on a horse. Adjusted. A jizzed on it. A jizzed mm. on it. Yeah, but the pony bit me uh, on my arm. Fuck, man, they're vicious. And I got to yeah. say... Can I tell you that maybe, maybe when I think about this song, and I've spoken about this on air on a number of occasions, <laughs> maybe he's equating it to a pony because I was telling you before that that my father, whenever he tells me stories about the village, the first thing they tell me about is the pony. So maybe there is some correlation between ponies and sort of the interaction with human beings and, and, and you know, ponies, genuines actually just singing about it. For once. It's reckon... like Tales from the Motherland. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon Genuine was at like Dapto Street Fair, Father's Day, watching some some children riding around the street on ponies and going, that reminds me of fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's Jeez. what it is. Well, hey, ponies, the only use for a pony is a kid's birthday party. So, yeah, like hey, no adults we are writing ponies. We didn't write the song. We didn't write the song. 
He did. All right. Let's see. I'm sure he's got to, I'm sure he'll clarify it in the second verse. So let's get into that. It says, sitting here flossing, peeping your steelo. Just once, if I have the chance, the things the I would do to you, you and your body, every single portion, send chills up and down your spine, juices flowing down your thigh. <laughs> so this is the thing listen to the lyrics in this song you play this on commercial radio we, we play this on air like if i actually articulated the lyrics we'd lose our license but oh, nobody, yeah. nobody, nobody ever picks it so is there ever a point like can you bring your mic like live mid-song when I've done that before. Okay. Fade in. Uh, the next time you play this, just when it gets to juices flowing down your thigh, just come in and just repeat the lyrics. Pay attention over the top to this part. Real clear. <laughs> the, the weird thing is, Juice I actually alert. the actually weird thing is, I come on after this song and I'm like, you know, I ninety eight music that makes you feel good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually. Fulfilling the obligation of the call sign of the radio station. <laughs> maybe, maybe genuine's got like a some sort of um, deal going with the do that as a station. It's like, hey, that's fine. You can use that slogan, but you're playing pony seven times a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the deal you've got. Yeah. What about um, the fact? That, like, does anyone else get their juices really flowing when they're flossing? Um, it doesn't do anything for me particularly either well, the dental or dance move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sitting yeah, here sitting flossing. here flossing, just going with the arms and the <laughs> I can floss. I'd like, imagine won't, you just won't translate dig... well on the podcast there, Nick, sorry. Yeah. I imagine he's just yeah. sitting there digging shit out from between his teeth. Which isn't a fucking great mental image to have. Can and someone then, tell um... me what peeping a stilo is? <laughs> yeah. I was hoping Nick could tell me. He's in a hip hop group. <clears throat> I've peeped a stilo before. I thought it was Sterlo and he's talking about you know, Parramatta, funny. 1970s great halfback, Peter Sterling. Show. <laughs> it's obviously got something to do with the rectal region. Here we go. I got it here. Okay. All what right. does oh. peeping your stilo mean? All right. Uh, Can we take wild guesses? Yeah, go for it. Well, oh, I did already. Urban Dictionary yeah, while you do that. No, no, just tell us, Bevo. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Stilo is slang for style, a player's aura. Some get this definition confused with swagger. It can be your fashion, but that's part of the bigger picture, which has its own link. Let's just say the devil didn't make you do it. It was your stilo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was a good <laughs> silence there. Comedic silence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, he smashes another chorus out. And um, all right, the third verse. Always enjoy a good third verse. That's, you know, that's when the business happens. Uh, it says, if we're going to get nasty, baby, first, well, show and tell till I reach your ponytail, lurk all over and through you, baby, until we reach the stream, you'll be on my jockey team. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? It's so confusing. He's got um, a team. He's got a team of girls that are all under five foot. Right. And he makes them race at like Kembla Grange <laughs> once, once a month. <laughs> Get your fascinators out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Jockeys don't I, ride I... ponies either. Nah, a bit of shit race, wouldn't it? <laughs> <It'd> be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the pony races. Oh, really? Well, that's, that, that, that's the analogy for a shit horse. It oh, is. Look at that. Boy, that, that's a pony. What a shit horse. I mean, when it's a losing horse, oh, it's <laughs> yeah. a pony. Yeah, and genuinely, exactly. he's trying to make it all sexual. Maybe he bought a couple of dud racehorses and now he's sort of just trying to pick their spirits up a bit. It's like, no, nah, ponies are cool. Like, no, nah, all your racehorses are shit, genuine, all right? They're shit. He's trying to um, sell them off. He's just like, how's about this number one hit, though? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, pony. Ponies mm-hmm. are going to be the hit of the hey. summer. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't like the idea of lurking all over and through. Lurk has got to be one of the least sexy words in this song. Oh. It's very predatory, isn't it? Like, can you do a sexy lurk? Yeah, well, what is this lurking? It's not like he's fucking Chris Brown. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's more punchy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, I can't believe we haven't done a Chris Brown song yet. Oh, oh mate, it's so, because it's so hard to pick one. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Do a medley. And we also we have spoken about Chris Slugger Brown quite a bit, but he doesn't need the publicity, does he? Not really. Nah, no. Nah. That's a that's a crazy story in itself, the old Chris Brown tale. Um yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he's going with this other than yeah, his team of jockeys maybe. His chorus at the end, we just get the same thing over and over again. And his outro just says, Ride it, my saddle. That's it. <laughs> that's it. She's left. That's everything in this song. <laughs> he's got the juices the flowing. Up. He's got a team of jockeys. Um yeah, I don't know. And he's basically um, just having to break chicks off his dick, according, according to Genuine. Well, it is Genuine. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the sexiest man of 1997. Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> that was my best guess. This is hot. This podcast is sponsored by Ghetto Bird Studio. Do you write music? Do you want people to hear it? Do you want your music to sound less shit than it does right now? If you answered yes to these questions, then you should record your music at Ghetto Bird Studio. We record all types of music. Rap, rock, hip-hop, jazz, jazz fusion, metal, electro, even country. We can't promise that your music won't be shit, but we can promise to make it sound less shit. Here's a before and after. Love my body and spank my ass. Love my body and spank my ass. Contact us now at ghettobirdstudio.com.au. Tell these haters. Non-stop music. All right, so apparently Genuine co-wrote this song with the uh, Swing Mob, who was made up of Static Major and Timberland. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so uh, this was actually Timberland's breakthrough song as a producer. So this is what put Timberland on the map as a producer before he started working with Justin Timberlake and Missy Elliott and whoever else he's he's done. Um, It was all all came from Pony, uh, which I definitely did not know that. Now, this is really good. Uh, Genuine's real name. Is Elgin Baylor Lumpkin? <laughs> wow! What, you wonder why he didn't go with his real name? Lumpkin. Yeah, Lumpkin. <laughs> Lumpkin. Uh, so the thing is, I'm like Elgin Baylor. I know that name. Why do I know that name? So I googled it. He's a, a NBA Hall of Famer. He played from like 1958 to 71. He won a bunch of championships. So his parents obviously just massive basketball fans and went, I'm calling my son Elgin Baylor Lumpkin. Yeah. What? No one's no one's ever going to make out with a guy with a name like that. That's why he's written this song and called yeah, himself Genuine. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the Originally deal, it was baby. just Lumpkin. And he's like, no, no, that's not, we, you can't release this song under the name Lumpkin. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> Pony by Lumpkin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come up with something better. Something more genuine. Like, I got it. <laughs> um, How do you spell genuine? Oh, yeah. never mind. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what what do we got later in here? What's that bottle say? <laughs> um Static Major has written songs uh for like Destiny's Child and whoever else. So he's done a bit. But here's a crazy thing. Have you ever heard of the Pony Curse? No, no. Oh, sounds interesting. Oh well, then here we go. Here's write this down, Marge. Next time you've got to come out of Pony, you can tell them about everyone other than Timberland and Genuine are dead now that had to do with this song. So really? Static Static Major died uh, in two thousand and eight. He <laughs> this is the most fucked way to die. Um, I should have saved this for a Dan Southern death, but he um was just getting a basic medical procedure. He was only 33 at the time. He bled to death after after a catheter was removed and they they couldn't stop it bleeding. Uh. 
the fuck was this in the backyard or something? <laughs> just like, oh, where, where is he getting surgery done? Like, what are you talking? How do you bleed to death from that? You just I don't put know. a bit of you just put a bit of cotton wool on the top of it and a bit of tape. <laughs> That's legit. It. It's like, <laughs> quick, get me the cotton wool and tape. Oh, we're all out. Oh shit. Sorry, uh, um, sorry, static major. <laughs> feels like there's plenty of time to sort that out too. Like I'm bleeding. Seems like a, yeah, yeah, but yeah. People get stabbed and don't yeah. bleed to death. Yeah, this guy had a needle put out of his arm and fucking carked it. Um, his whole family sued the hospital, so. Sure, that made it feel better. Um, and then Genuine's parents died, both of them, 12 months apart after this was released. And Michael Lucero, who directed the film clip, died a few months after in a car crash. Jesus. The oh. Pony Curse. Fuck, we Maybe I should out. stop playing this on air. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, are we, are we getting roped into this by uh, fucking, you know? <laughs> Marjay's fault. <laughs> you should stop talking about this. Oh, no, how's that? Um, yeah, crazy, crazy things. Everyone's dead. It seems like a um, what's that horror movie where is it Final Destination? Where it's, oh yeah, that people know they're gonna they see how they're gonna die. No. They cheat, like. cheat death and then yeah, and they then, cheat death. That yeah, seems yeah. like this major static situation. That's the only way you die from that. Yeah, is that he cheated death too many times. And he just had to be taken down. Um, the song apparently experienced a resurgence after it was featured in Bevo's favorite movie and second favorite movie, Magic Mike and Magic Mike <laughs> XXL. I haven't seen him actually. Um, oh, okay, all right, Bevo. Haven't seen him. <laughs> Good one. Uh, yeah. I so you're going to say Sister Act and Sister Act Two, which are genuinely some of my favorite movies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, didn't, no. I don't remember them being in there. No, but, I don't think yeah. the I don't think the nut the choir from the mm. nunnery sung pony by genuine. Whoopi, Whoopi wasn't getting down to this one. <laughs> Obviously, before I was married and I had a child and responsibilities, mm. uh, when I used to frequent places like uh, Spearman Rhino. Yeah. Obviously, this song. I think that was the first place I heard it. Would have been at perfect. Porky's. At perfect. Porky's. At uh, in the cross. Yeah. And I thought it was a good song at the time, but now that we've analysed it, it's a fucking piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) How funny is it, though, that it's based around the sound of someone throwing up? (laughs) Yep. 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 (laughs) It's a funny thing to listen to, really. Yeah, it is. For a sexy song, it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, There is a really good cover version of this that I definitely recommend listening to it's by a band called far oh, i thought they're you were a... say it's the goat remix on youtube <laughs> 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 no, well, i recommend all of those but um it's a it's a <laughs> californian band called far and they did uh far they, did, they did it but <laughs> they released it under a different name of <laughs> hot little pony <laughs> so it's <laughs> pony by hot little pony <laughs> oh. that's and definitely a missed opportunity there though Bevo. It, it's really good it's really good. You should listen what, to changing it. Changing their name from Far to Far Lap. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't know. Um, apparently, Genuine is the spokesman for a beverage, which is adult chocolate milk. Adult, adult chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Yeah, I've oh, never heard of this chocolate before, milk. Is for adults. <laughs> now, chocolate milk's a little bit uh, juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> it's forty proof vodka based oh, right, chocolate okay. milk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what does yeah. what does genuine look like? Um, he looks long, generic. Long face, yeah, uh, black mane, <laughs> spotted, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a pony. Oh, Children's <laughs> entertaining. <laughs> entertaining. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not the. He is not the image that I remember having of genuine at the time that this was released. Like. It doesn't look like I, I'm thinking when I think of genuine, I'm thinking of someone completely different than who it actually is. It's one of those weird situations. He's just wanna... he's just he's just been honored with the um Urban Music Icon Award. Has he? Yeah. Good on him. I'll just give that one out. And <laughs> nah, um, you for, <laughs> for the success of Pony. What a load of rubbish. Really? <laughs> I mean, that's a real fucking backhand and compliment, isn't it? It's like you know that song you released 25 years ago? 
amazing. I'm giving you an award for it. It's like, you know, I've done stuff since. But no, but yeah. that's good. He's a very handsome man. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Very handsome. He's, 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 um, he's kept it up. All right, I've got to have do a look you, now. Do you want to guess <laughs> how, how many kids he has and to how many different women he has? I how, many, how many children he's sired? Yes. I reckon, yeah. I reckon he's got maybe fifteen kids. It's not far. It's not far off. You can tell. I can just tell by the the, the those nineties <laughs> images. Was... Yeah, None of those, yeah. Those nineties images. There was a lot of fucking going on back then. Yeah, fertile eyes. <laughs> fertile <laughs> pastures. Yeah. How uh, many different wives? Put him out to stud. Like seven. Oh, fuck. I tell you, you're not too far off. He's got nine kids from five different women. Wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. Does, that, does, that not, does that not stress you out a little bit, hearing that? Of course Can he's going to do that. Listen to the song. I know. Like, it's, it's, almost, um, it's almost not his fault. <laughs> that, that, that's, that song was a major aphrodisiac. Yeah, I know. I mean, and then you've got Bevo's favourite movie playing it, uh, Magic Mike and Magic Mike XXL. Yeah, it's track two. Yeah, <laughs> back in the habit. If you want yeah. to be somebody, um, I I gotta say, production wise on this though, Timberland and bloody Static Major have nailed it. Like, oh, they made a very good song out of someone throwing up. I'll say, yeah, that. exactly. But it's such a shame that he had to write lyrics like this over the top of it because that track that they put together instrumentally is an absolute banger. You can't. Like, it's undeniable. There's a reason it still gets played on the radio today. Not many songs last that long. I'm going to play it tomorrow. Do it. (laughs) (laughs) And if you don't, I'm calling in. You'll hear hear this voice. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, no. (laughs) Quick, cut him off before he says anything. (laughs) I'll definitely play it tomorrow. Fantastic. (laughs) Um, All right. There's a video for it, Bevo. Sure is. So tell me about that, mate. I'm very excited right. to hear. Nick Elliott. Here's the video facts from A to Z, and they're coming at you straight from Ryan B. It's a terrible song, and I know you were great. Music video summary. With Bevo. Oh, I didn't even have to say it. I oh, know, he's not fucking around, is he? I, right. I wasn't sure if that was the right thing I was meant to do, but I was just... It'll yeah, work. It'll taking a wild stab. It's happened now, so yeah. Mm. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, Pony Genuine is hired to do a half hour strip show at a sleazy redneck biker bar. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> so lazy, such a lazy description. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, how but quick- accurate. Yeah, how quickly do you think in real life? Genuine is bashed within an inch of his life oh, yeah. <laughs> in this bar. Real disconnect, <laughs> hey? <laughs> it's just like the guy that's playing pool that keeps eyeballing Genuine as he gets more and more naked on the stage <laughs> looks like he's already murdered seven people Every today. second shot is some redneck looking at their pool table and then looking up at the stage. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's just like, you know, this guy would have, this guy would be dead in, it, it in, would... so quick. It, it would take a lot for somebody to write a song like this and then perform it in a video in a bar like that. Like, yeah, like it's, it's to, to perform these lyrics to a video, <laughs> big problems. <laughs> yeah, big problems. yes, it is. It the is other funny thing is that a woman doesn't appear in the video until about a minute in, very it's briefly. So, it is, there is so little amount of females in this film clip that it boggles the mind. <laughs> I've never seen the video. Is there a pony in it? <laughs> not a one. Well, not one. See. Not That's even not one. No, no. Nah, nah. um, Imagine uh... if it was this video, him dancing on stage at a bar, and there was just a pony on stage as well. <laughs> that would be really. Funny. Someone just walking around on a lead. Little Sebastian <laughs> from Parks and Rec. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, is the reason they did the whole like uh, redneck cowboy thing because the song is about horses, essentially? Yeah, but again. It's not really about a horse. That's why I <laughs> think it. <laughs> like, like they've missed the mark there. I, I think it's hilarious, and I don't know if you get away with it in this day and age, that you've got all these rough white people just 
looking like, what the fuck are all these blacks doing in here? <laughs> they look like Willie Nelson, don't they? <laughs> they look like they all look disgusted that there's black people coming up to the bar and ordering drinks. It's just like... Yeah, it's like all these young people coming into the bar. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I don't know if you could do that now. What they should have done, they should remaster the video for 2021 mm-hmm. and just have Genuine walking around in one of those, um, you know, theme parks with the carnies yeah. and just holding a pony yeah. Yeah. and just walking around, <laughs> That's it. With, you know, it's with hay it. and shit. That's it. it. <laughs> yeah. he, rides, he rides it for a little bit. <laughs> It's yeah. going like two kilometers an hour. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. Hey, it'd make more sense than this film clip. <laughs> yeah, 100%. This is a bizarre way mm. that this this director went with this this treatment when he was pitching this and they're like, all right, this is like one of the sexiest songs out there. Um, you know, this is just, it's going to be in every club. Like chicks are just, they're going to want to, they're going to want to fuck him. As soon as they hear this, it's just, they're not going to be able to help it. And he's like, I got an idea. Uh, redneck bar, heaps of old white men, uh, and then genuine just gets more and more naked on the stage as it goes on. It's like it's not what this I was would, thinking. This, this would this would be the type if you were ge- if you were if you were like you know romancing romancing a woman. You know, yeah. you'd come home, you'd put on maybe some you know Roy Stop or some uh, like you know Jeff Buckley or whatever. Yes. If you'd met somebody on Tinder, this is the song you'd put on. Yeah, that's right. What do you reckon, that's Nurk? It. That's exactly right. Yes! <laughs> Marge, nail on the fucking head. <laughs> on know, repeat, but, no less. But only, the, only the ones that have a one-sentence profile, and it's like, <laughs> I'm going to eat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, Jesus. those ones, Nick, that you're hanging yeah, out with. Yeah, there are some seriously good <laughs> one-liners on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one line. As mm. anyone like that's been married for 10 years plus kids all that like myself you have to live this tinder through other people such as mm. nick mm. so it's all you know it's always a good time yeah, they didn't have that when i uh no when, when you shacked up itched no nah, neither here no, <laughs> no same no, here no. i, I yeah. missed the whole I, I missed the whole tinder thing yeah 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 all gone all gone for us now we got to mm. live we all get to live through nick Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so disappointing. Um, how any YouTube comments, Bevo? There's a couple of funny ones. Um, yeah. Can I find this one? Oh, Tay B, one year ago. Someone please tell me why five year old me thought this was about an actual pony, and when I sang it, my grandma would chase me with a broom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I've kind of got a similar one that I now realize why my mum didn't want me singing this along in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, again, one of Marche's fu- Marche's fault. He's playing it, dude. I'm <laughs> telling you now. Like, I think I've played this song at school pickup time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's in their car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, seriously, if can you please play this tomorrow at school pickup time? I'm gonna play this song. I, I want to put it on Fucking as I'm picking ten past three. <laughs> yeah. as, I pick, as I pick Kids, my four year old up from daycare. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that one goes out to Matt Bragg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you now, I'll go to the music director tomorrow and I'll say, listen, Andy, I want to play this song, Pony, from Genuine. Put it in at like, you know, quarter past three. He'll go, yeah, sure. I'll just say yeah. it's a request. <laughs> yeah. yeah and it fucking it is. is. It yeah. Is. It is. So three people requested it. Mm. <laughs> Crazy. Um, there's another comment I got here where it's like, my mum called it the burping song. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, they're playing that burping song again. Yeah, yes, mum, the horny burp. I know. <laughs> um, all right, do you have a genuine uh, set list, Bevo? I do, the genuine article. Oh, when's it from? This is the only one that had more than two songs written in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> doing long shows. <laughs> August 17th, 2019. Okay. At the DAR Constitution Hall, Washington, D.C., USA. Okay. It's an 11 song set list. What? You don't have 11 songs. Um, Two of the songs. Sometimes you get little notes here. Two of the songs say first verse and hook. So you don't even get the full song. So he's just doing medleys. (laughs) Teasers. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I forgot the rest of that one. (laughs) Genuine has some funny song titles, including Stingy. And um, you Pony. owe me. 
<laughs> and so anxious. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Yeah. Sounds like a fun concept. Yeah. So All right. if you say you guys are genuine, you're mm-hmm. one collective genuine, uh, and yeah. you need to put pony in your set list. Yeah. People want to hear the pony. Yeah. Where would you throw pony in? Oh, I think I think you have to play it last. You got to go with people like they're going to walk if that, he doesn't play it. <laughs> yeah, <they're> trot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they're not going to know who he is unless he plays it first. Some come Ooh. first. Yeah, no, I reckon in the middle, definitely in the middle. Yeah, ah, okay, <laughs> all right. Split the difference. Yeah, all we right. are. Well, he does play it last. It's the oh last one shit! I got it. So, yeah. Where do you play first? I mentioned. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That oh. was him just yelling "Hell yeah!" at the yeah. crowd, and then, yeah. and then going, yeah. 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 and then he went, "I'm anxious," and this song's yeah. called "Pony." <laughs> oh, they're leaving! They're leaving! We're yeah. playing now. Uh, all right, the uh, a little bit of legacy here about old uh, Pony. The song peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot R and B charts. Um, it spent two weeks there. Uh, from November 16th, 1996 to November 30th, 1996. It reached number six on the Billboard Hot 100 on the 23rd of November. Uh, Genuine's net worth in 2021. What do you think that comes in at, Nick? Uh, 30 mil. Oh, shit. All right. What do you reckon, Marge? What do you reckon Genuine's worth? A few Thrill properties? <laughs> yeah, well, but are they now fucking $5 million each house out there now? Yeah. Um, uh, I, I don't reckon, I, I reckon about $10 million. Okay. $10 what million you, US. Yes, US dollars, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What What do you reckon, Bevo? Um, he's got all that child support to pay, so that's about <laughs> half his income. It's fucking expensive. I'm going to say about yeah. 5 mil. It's worth 6 million US. Uh, it's hey? worth 12, but... um. He's yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, goddamn, that's Man, this. It, it, how do you, in all seriousness, the, the other day I played that fucking MC Hammer, you can't touch this, yeah, which we occasionally, you know, play, and I mean that song was huge from from memory. Like, yeah. I, I'd love to know how much money they make from one song. From one song, well, you, yeah, you kind of got to look up one hit wonders net worth. Um, and we have, we, I mean, this is like our one hundred and eightieth something episode. So we've done it a bit, and some of them are very surprising, and some are so disappointing <laughs> that you and go. You find a lot of the time that some like their net worth comes from merchandising, or like they've gone yeah, into yeah. something else, or yeah, yeah. He's obviously just... made uh, he's obviously made the bulk of his money just on this one song. I mean, oh, who's going to who's going to bloody download anxious? No yeah. one, yeah. not one person. No, <laughs> it's um. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, Amy basically... Shark's a good example of this. Where what was yeah. it like ninety thousand? No, something mate, like she that. She was worth thirty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, which is like <laughs> that's you know. Hold on, Amy, Amy Shark worth thirty-seven thousand dollars now. I got yeah. that in my back pocket. Yeah, <laughs> I get paid that a week at I ninety-eight. Yeah, I, I, it's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's be- well below minimum wage. Mm. That's for sure. That's a number um, one selling album. Yeah, it's bad but with there's money. no money in it. Yeah. You wonder how accurate these Google searches are. But you also have as to, you also have to think that like no one's toured for almost what a year and a half now, and that's how you make your money now. Dude, like, t- t- Tones and I has spent fifth, uh, has spent several million dollars on um, properties in the Mornington Peninsula on the Mornington Peninsula. Yeah, but she's a property mogul now. But she was. She's also. Cracked oh, the US market. One. She cracked the yeah. US market. Yeah, she was number one. You cracked one the US the market and you're all happy days. Yeah, true. Yeah. Old Amy Shark ain't doing that. No, she's just cracking the Gold Coast market. That's it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All actual crack. Yeah. <laughs> Better call me. Better call yeah, me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. Have you had any, um, any painful. Uh, Washed up celebrities that you've spoken to recently, Marge. Because I was very entertained when you were on last time and telling us about your experiences with Alex Lloyd and Vanessa Amorossi. I haven't interviewed. We haven't interviewed anybody um, uh, recently. Uh, actually, uh, what's his name was in Wollongong before we went into this uh, most recent lockdown. He played Centro, which is the Italian restaurant 
in um in Wollongong. What's his name? Right. Uh, uh, fucking the Australian Idol dude came second. Kalea. Shannon Noll. No, Shannon Noll. Nolsey. Yeah. Nolsey. He played at a restaurant in Wollongong. Yeah, yeah he played in the restaurant at Centro in, in, in Wollongong, which is just like an Italian restaurant. Yeah. So he's obviously doing it really tough at the moment. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> All right, you've got to make ends meet, I guess. You know how Guy Sebastian now is hosting... He's one of the judges on... Is it Idol? The Voice. Or the Voice? Mm-hmm. And I posted on Facebook about this that I was like, it's ironic that someone who won those one of those competitions now judges one. Yeah. It's full circle. Yeah, yeah. People get really upset when you say stuff like that. They get no Sebastian upset. bashing. Yeah. <laughs> people love Guy Sebastian. Yeah. They let his oh, brother win love, another one of them. Yeah. They love Guy Sebastian. I used to live around the corner from his house in Marubra, the one that was it was well documented that house that he was building. Yeah. It's incredible. It's an incredible house. Like yeah. obviously he's he's making more money than Amy Sharp is. And he's 100%. getting paid he's getting paid several hundred thousand dollars a week to do that bloody the hosting oh. gig. Yeah, he's got a um, he's got a pimp and house in Jaroa as well. Oh, he does too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you randomly just see him walking around or at the bottle shop in Jerringong. He's like, "Fucking Sebastian!" Tumbling out of the bottle <laughs> shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fucking yelled at the other day when I went in there because I went in at ten past six and I didn't have a mask. Oh, yeah. anti-masker. Yeah, well, look, I got I yelled at. God, Here's Sebastian the was there. He's like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, so, the issue was oh, I was working all day and I didn't realise that anything had happened. <laughs> Apparently it had. Um, okay, let's rate this shit. Motherfuckers, this is it. Now it's time to rate this shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right most important part now what are we going to rate it out of pony dicks all right yeah 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 <laughs> 10 pony dicks you choke on 10 pony dicks and you die that's a 10 okay so 10 you're dead 10 you fucking hate it you can't stand ever listening to it ever again one pony dick is just like having a uh frankfurt <laughs> 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 With a bit of fucking bloody tomato sauce, yeah, dip it in, dip. down it goes. Yeah, little, um, what do they call it? Pigs in blankets or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Fancy bevo. Um, <laughs> tap, tap. Okay. So a one is you love it. A ten is you hate it. What do you give this out of ten, bevo? Oh man, it's a three. It's funny, but it's fucking. It's a. It's a jam. Yeah. yeah. All right, Nick. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same as Bevo. I'm going to go with the two. Two. <clears throat> yeah. Big genuine. I do fan. enjoy it. Yeah. You like his other stuff as well? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> other stuff. He fucking <laughs> trash. Apparently, he had trash. a song Men in, Men in Black soundtrack. Did he? Yeah. Not as big as the Will Smith song. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> track three. Uh, Track three, not bad mm-hmm. listing. What What do you reckon, Marge? What do you give it out of 10? Look, you know, uh, the thing is I've played this song a number of times and I've never really thought about it until now, obviously. <laughs> um, and You've I never have... had a discussion this long about oh, Pony by Genua? <laughs> I, 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 I've got to admit openly that I have on many occasions when I've played this song in the studio, turned it up, and I think <laughs> like at one stage – and I, I probably wouldn't say this in a politically correct studio, but I think I was doing some gyrating with some finger action like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I give it a two. I think yeah, I yeah it a two. solid. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. a well-deserved two. Uh, I think give it a two. Yeah, I'm with you there. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go even more. I'm giving it a one. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I like yeah. it. I think it's great. Yeah. What a song. It's one of those ones that you just haven't listened to in so long and then you put it on and go, fuck, this is a good song. Mm. <laughs> as as someone in the wedding yeah. industry, Chibs, do you yeah. stick around long enough to get to the pony part of the DJ Mate, set? If I'm at if I'm at your wedding, something's gone horribly fucking wrong. <laughs> right, <okay. 
<laughs> I was meant to be there two days ago and fucked off well and truly by now. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> played pony while he was setting up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ponies on, yeah, during the setup. Soon the setup. When I'm you know up many, in someone's roof. Yeah. You know how many wog weddings I've been to? <laughs> where this is the fucking, you know, one of the bloody major, the wedding waltz song? The first dance. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're going to like, the wrong weddings. <laughs> I'm Imagine telling you now. Walking down the aisle to this year up step, year up, year up, year. Up, you know when you int- when you introduce the parents, you know that are in their like seventies. Yes. And the mother and father walk out at one of those Greek led Italian weddings I've been to, and they're playing this song. You know. If about- you're holding it, let's do it. Got it. Your seventy-five year old mother's coming down, juices flowing down your oh. spine. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, For- Margaret. Wet on the dance floor. <laughs> Finally, our forty-two-year-old loser son is getting married. <laughs> let him play whatever he wants. <laughs> Just let him do it this one time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not appropriate. Not appropriate at all. <laughs> People always pick weird fucking songs. Like the amount of times you hear like um like with or without you at a at a wedding, you go like oh, yeah. this is as, this is as depressing as you can get. <laughs> but they do it. They fucking do it. What's the eyes <laughs> wide what's the eyes wide shut song, uh, Chris Isaac? Um Oh okay. no. That one? <laughs> that one. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Oh, baby um, did a bad, bad thing. Yeah, baby did a bad, bad thing. Baby did a bad, bad thing. <laughs> I was at a wedding once where they played that song, and I'm going. I mean, I've seen the movie. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Do, do, do most of these people know what the movie is about? Marge <laughs> just starts undoing his belt. He's like, "Oh, it's on here." <laughs> <laughs> He's this got his the red the mask on, red on. robes on. He's fucking yeah. right, ready to roll. Yeah. Stab, yeah. stab someone in yeah. a ritual. Yeah. <laughs> the blood makes me horny. <laughs> like a pony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks so much, Marge, uh, for coming thanks, back. Guys. Coming doing that again. We're doing it again for sure. I'll let you know when another disgusting song's coming up on here. 100%. I'll be back. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Everyone get fucked. Bye. (laughs) Bye. See ya. Hey, you. Yeah, you. No, not that guy. You, idiot. Need a favour. Do you reckon you could, like, subscribe, follow and review 1001 songs that make you want to die wherever you get your podcasts? That'd be really good. Just, you know, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, just do it there. And if you don't, then we'll have to assume that you hate orphans, um, which would be terrible. Uh, But, you know, obviously you don't. So just, just leave us a review. All right, do the right thing. Give back for once, you idiot.